Hey everybody, this is Carly Cottrell. You may recognize me from the internet. And today, we are in Rhyolite, Nevada, which is a ghost town about two hours outside of Las Vegas. Today, we're gonna go through all the buildings in the town. I'm gonna give you some of the history of what the town used to be. We're gonna look at what still stands, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of information about how you can come and see your own ghost town. Okay. Was Fred Barefoots. Fred's from Belgium. Um, he always has an element of self-portraiture in his work. Okay. He said he felt totally out of place in the desert, so he's the penguin. sign for you? I'll sign for you. Guide to Rhyolite Historic Gold Mining Town Site. This is the Tom Kelly Bottle House. This was built in 1906. It's spot number one here on our Rhyolite Historic Gold Mining Town Site Guide. Uh, after it was built in 1906, it was raffled off to a winning family in the area, and evidently the winning family stayed in it for many years. And up until very recently, it was a curio shop. Rhyolite School. It was the second school that was built in Rhyolite. It was completed in 1909, but by the time it was done, most of the students had actually left the town because of the economic downturn.
These are the remains of the Overbury building. This building was constructed in 1907. It was used as a bank and for various business in town. At the time, it cost $45,000 to complete, had indoor plumbing and electricity, which were luxuries at the time. history of Rhyolite, the timeline for the town, and sort of what happened here. So, it all started. 1904, two men found old Rhyolite. So that was Mr. Shorty Harris and Mr. Ed Cross. By 1905, they had established Rhyolite with a township. Everything was going good, right? Mm-mm, nay, nay. So 1906, big earthquake hits San Francisco and starts to sort of like shake off, no pun intended, a little bit of fear. What's wrong, bud? You good? He's worried about the story, it's very stressful. So by 1906, earthquake happens, people are concerned about the financial viability of the town. Um, not just Rhyolite, but all mining towns. Um, anything that's not su like supremely financially secure, people are worried, right? So then 1907, there's lots of people here. For this town, there were anywhere between five to 8,000 people living in Rhyolite. It's kind of a lot of people. But by 1908, production and um, the mines basically like stopped producing. The production in the mines slowed. By that point, um, people started leaving town because that's their livelihood, right? Like they're not gonna stay if they're not gonna make any money. So people start taking off. Um, at that point, the years start to dwindle by. 1919, even the post office closed. The post office is like, I'm out. Cook Bank building. This building was completed in 1908. It cost $90,000 to complete. It was three stories plus a basement. Post office was in the basement, bank was on the first floor, and the second and third floor housed various businesses for the community. Now, it also had a lot of modern luxuries such as steam heating, electricity, and marble floors. Building to my right is what's left of the Tonopah Las Vegas Railway Depot. The other two railway areas were the Tonopah Tidewater Railroad and the Bullfrog Goldfield Railroad. Those were the other two that serviced this area. This little section behind me, this is an old train car. You can see Union Pacific on it. ghost town that you can come and visit yourself. It's about two hours outside of Las Vegas. I'm going to link in the description the website to Rylite, how to get here, some information on the history, and as always, if you liked anything that we used to film, the DJI Mavic Mini 2, the gimbal, the GoPro, little David, 
let me know. Thanks so much everybody for watching. And if you got this far, please subscribe to the channel. We go on adventures all the time, not just ghost towns, mysterious abandoned places, sometimes some haunted stuff, sometimes some cryptid stuff. So again, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate each of you and we'll see you next time. Thank you.